Alberta Health Services. Healthy Albertans, healthy communities, together. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm David Wyant, Chair of the Alberta Health Services Board, and I would like to welcome you to this AHS public board meeting. Thank you for taking the time to join us. To start, in the spirit of promoting reconciliation and gratitude, and in keeping with the calls to action from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, on behalf of the board, I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge that the work of Alberta Health Services takes place on historical and contemporary Indigenous lands, including the territories of Treaties 6, 7, and 8, and the homeland of the Métis. I would also like to acknowledge the 46 First Nations communities within what we call Alberta, as well as the Métis and Inuit peoples who form part of our health care system. Our board members are joining us from across the country and we acknowledge the Indigenous peoples' territories in which they live and work. We are grateful to those who have come before us and mindful of those who will follow us as we steward and protect these lands. Before I address some administrative matters, on behalf of the board, I would like to again express to our CEO, our senior executive, our other staff, physicians, and volunteers, our heartfelt gratitude for their hard work, dedication, and sacrifice during this global health crisis. We knew our pandemic response would be a marathon, and tomorrow marks the 59th week since our first case of COVID-19 was confirmed in this province. Yet as the number of new and active cases in the province continues to spike, we know there are still many difficult days ahead for Albertans, including our people on the front lines who are once again working tirelessly to manage the increasing COVID-related hospitalizations and ICU admissions. We know that this is not easy work, physically or emotionally. I'm so grateful for the efforts of our frontline healthcare providers, as well as our people working at our immunization sites and the behind the scenes staff who support them. We can all do our part to bring this pandemic to an end by getting vaccinated. Please book your appointment for COVID-19 as soon as you are eligible to do so. Immunization is our most important weapon in our response to this virus. And on that note, I would invite our President and CEO, Dr. Verna Yu, to share an update on the province's immunization efforts. Verna? Great. Great. Thanks very much, David, and good afternoon to everyone. As David mentioned, mass public immunization will be the means by which we bring this terrible pandemic to an end. HS is working to immunize as many eligible Albertans as possible, uh, as quickly as possible, while continually monitoring evolving evidence from around the world regarding the safety and efficacy of the COVID-19 vaccine. Yesterday, Albertans born in 1981 and earlier became eligible to receive the AstraZeneca vaccine through participating pharmacies and AHS immunization sites. Alberta's decision to reduce the age of eligibility for AstraZeneca from 55 to 40 is based on public health recommendations. Looking at the benefit this vaccine offers weighed against the small risk of adverse events from this vaccine. AstraZeneca has been shown to be 60 to 70 percent effective at preventing COVID-19 illness and is 80 percent effective at preventing severe outcomes such as hospitalization. Lowering the eligible age means that more than 575,000 additional Albertans can be vaccinated. This also means 2.3 million Albertans are now eligible to receive a COVID-19 vaccine, and that number will continue to grow in the days and weeks ahead. I strongly recommend that everyone book their appointment to get immunized as soon as they are able to. Variants of concern are spreading quickly throughout the province, with an increasing number of Albertans requiring hospital and ICU care due to severe outcomes. Getting immunized as soon as you're eligible helps uh, keeps you safe and will help prevent the health system from becoming overwhelmed during this third wave of the pandemic. All eligible individuals can book their appointment today by the AHS online booking tool at ahs.ca slash vaccine, by calling HealthLink 811, or through a participating pharmacy. I also wish to remind Albertans that even once they get their first dose of vaccine, they still need to follow the existing public health measures in order to keep themselves and others safe and help us reduce the spike of new and active cases in the province. That means wash your hands regularly, 
adhere to restrictions on indoor and outdoor gatherings, wear a mask when in public, practice physical distancing, and if you feel sick, please stay home, get tested, and follow mandatory isolation requirements while waiting for results. I understand people's fatigue with the pandemic and with public health measures. But now with the vaccine, we have an opportunity to slowly bring an end to this pandemic. Until then, by doing our part and following public health measures for a few months more, we need to do our best to keep one another safe and minimize further loss of life. I'd like to close by thanking everyone at AHS, including those on the front lines and our immunization sites, for their ongoing hard work, dedication, and courage. They're truly heroes, and I offer gratitude and thanks for what they've done day in and day out for more than a year and for the difficult weeks and months ahead. So to our AHS team, thank you, and thanks to everyone watching for your interest in Alberta Health Services. And back to you, David. Thank you, Verna. At this time, let's move on with our agenda. We are participating by telephone conference today. When I ask for a vote on a motion, I will ask for those opposed or abstaining. For those who neither oppose nor abstain, I will take it that you are in favor of the motion. If there are none or a minority who either oppose or abstain, I will declare the motion carried. May I ask that someone move approval of the agenda that has been circulated? <coughs> I is okay. I so move. Thank you, Sai. Will someone second the motion? David Carpenter. Thank you, David. Is there any further discussion? Any opposed or abstentions? The motion is carried. Based on the approved agenda, do any board members have a conflict of interest that they would like to declare at this time? Hearing none, we will move on. In the board materials were a set of minutes for approval. Those are the minutes from the March 11th, 2021 public board meeting. May I have someone move approval of the minutes? Tony Dagnoni. Thank you, Tony. Will someone second the motion? Stephen Mandel, I second. Thank you, Stephen. Any further discussion? Any opposed or abstentions? The motion is carried and the minutes are approved. I'll now ask Sherry Fountain, Chair of the Governance Committee, to present the Governance Committee report. Sherry? Thank you, David. The Governance Committee met on March 23, 2021. The committee received the Ethics and Compliance Office Q3 2021 2020-21 report for discussion and reviewed the board member terms of reference, the annual board skills and competencies matrix, and a proposed meeting survey that would be circulated on a routine basis. In addition, the committee considered refinements to meeting processes to include electronic participation. The committee also considered one item for recommendation for approval of the board. The committee considered amendments to the conflict of interest bylaw. The committee recommended board approval of the amendments subject to input from the Minister of Health and the Ethics Commissioner. Once the amended bylaw is approved by the Board, it will be submitted sequentially to the Ethics Commissioner and the Minister of Health with requests for formal approval. The final approval, sorry, the final approved bylaw will be posted on the AHS public website. The Board reviewed the proposed amendments and the members support the approval. Accordingly, I move that the Alberta Health Services Board, one, approve the amendments to the AHS conflict of interest bylaw as reviewed by the Governance Committee and the Board, and two, direct management to submit the same to the Ethics Commissioner and the Minister of Health for approval. Thank you, Sherry. Will someone second that motion? This is Heidi, I will second. Thank you, Heidi. Is there any further discussion? Call the question, any opposed or abstentions? The motion is carried. I'll now ask David Carpenter, Chair of the Finance Committee, to present the Finance Committee report. David. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The uh, Finance Committee met on April 7, 2021. The committee received updates on national health expenditures, cost drivers, and opportunities, the Financial Sustainability Risk Report, and an update on the capital equipment risk. The committee also discussed the 2020-2021 annual report format development of the health and business plan, and the budget approval process. The committee also approved the appointment of external members, Herb Kipnis and Stephen Livergan, QC, the Asset Optimization Committee, a subcommittee of the Finance Committee. 
Finally, committee reviewed recommendations for board approval as outlined in detail. I'm presenting two motions for board approval today. The committee reviewed a revision to amendments to the Alberta Health Services Investment Bylaw. The board reviewed the revision and members support the approval. The amended investment bylaw will be posted, posted on the AHS public website once approved by the Minister of Health. Accordingly, I move the Alberta Health Services Board A, approve the revised amendment to the investment bylaw as reviewed by the Finance Committee and the Board, and B, direct the Board Chair to sign the revised amendment amended investment bylaw on behalf of AHS and to resubmit the same to Minister of Health for approval. I so move. Thank you, David. Will someone second the motion? Natalia Ryman, I second that motion. Thank you, Natalia. Any further discussion? Any opposed or abstentions? The motion is carried. David, you have a second motion. The secondly, Mr. Chair, the committee reviewed amendments to the delegation of authority and establishment of controls for commitments policy number 1100. The committee reviewed the amendments to the policy. The board reviewed the amendments and the members support the approval. The amended policy will be posted on the AHS public website. Accordingly, I move that the Alberta Health Services Board approve the proposed amendments to the delegation of authority and establishment of controls for commitments policy number 1100. I so move. Thank you, David. Will someone second the motion? Glenda Gates. Thank you, Glenda. Any further discussion? Any opposed or abstentions? The motion is carried. David, would you also like to present a report from the Audit and Risk Committee? Thank you, Mr. Chair. The Audit and Risk Committee also met on April 7, 2021. Standard practice is that the Office of the Auditor General and KPMG are guests at each meeting in their role as external auditors of AHS. The committee received updates on the preparation of the year-end March 31, 2021 financial statements, which are anticipated to be presented for board approval in June. The committee also received an internal audit report on addiction and mental health contract and quality management, updates on information and cybersecurity, legal and privacy, and enterprise risk. The committee also received the internal controls over financial reporting, financial report for the year 2020-2021. There are no items that came through the committee for board approval. Thank you for that report, David. We have reached the end of our agenda. I declare the business meeting adjourned. Thank you for joining us. Please be careful, get your shots, and stay well. Together, we do amazing things every day.